So fluffy. Yeah. Yeah, they have really big rabbits here. morning guys what's happening what's going on welcome to I don't even know what this town is called but we are in Greenland we've been on the boat one night this is our boat it's the icebreaker morning Tim how are you morning good yep two thumbs up yeah woke up in the middle of the night a little bit <laughs> yeah the whole boat was like going whoa ben, ben basically fell off his bed so <laughs> it was fun though our cabin window porthole just slammed open and we both like woke up and the whole boat was going like that. It's quite amusing. Had a surprisingly good night's sleep though. This is our boat, it's called Captain Klebnikov and it's an icebreaker. It's got like only a three meter deep hull. That's the reason why we were like rolling all over the place. Got some canoes, it's the local canoe club. Local church. Surprisingly warm. So fluffy. Yeah. Some kind of local... Come back. Yeah, the musk, musk ox. Musk ox. Yeah. yeah. And they yeah. just collect, they don't like farm it, they just find it, don't they? This wool. Yeah. And it's ten times stronger than sheep, sheep wool, wool. I guess. But really soft. it's super expensive. Like this, this jumper right here, it's about a thousand dollars. This town is called Sisinuit. And they have... Um, an annual cross-country ski race called the Arctic Circle Race, which is like, I think it's like 160 kilometers over three days. Sounds like the sort of thing I could get into. Have you been cross-country skiing? Oh yeah. Yeah. I love cross-country skiing. It's good, eh? We used to do it for cross-training and kayaking. We used to go to San Moritz. This guy's digging a hole. What are you digging for, mate? Hello. Cutest little puppies. It's not a puppy, that's a rock. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the end of our little tour around this town. I'm interested to see how many little stops we've got on this expedition. This is the second biggest town in Greenland or city. I think there's only 6,000 people here. It's amazing to see how other people live. Yeah. That was a nice little three hour hike. Yeah, really nice. So interesting. Yeah, super interesting. We're going back on the mothership now. Get some lunch. Look at this guy with his traditional paddles. Sometimes you just gotta go on a snack, snack mission. Time. What are we looking for? I don't know, any type of snacks. There's no chocolate, right? Because it can't survive the journey. The Arctic conditions. I mean, hello. Good, Good and you? Good. I mean, if we can't find the snack shop, we know where the bar is. So it's either one of the other snacks or alcohol. We have a helicopter safety briefing though, so we can't be drinking. Uh -oh. oh, you know where we can go to the lounge, right? Oh yeah? Oh, they totally have snacks. We're here for the snacks. This is not in line with the health train movement at all, but we're kind of desperate. And we are going to hit the gym. First we have session to. session tonight. Tonight, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Boat life. A chocolate cake. Is it good? And we're back on the ocean. We are moving again. See you later, guys. Onwards to the next town. 
We've got 181 nautical miles to go and apparently it's gonna get quite rough tonight. So we're gonna be rocking and rolling around. But tomorrow is, we're gonna be looking at some glaciers and it's gonna be a big filming day tomorrow. So I think we're gonna do a little gym session now. What are you saying, bro? And then we've worked that cake off. Oi, but look at this though, guys. How cool is this hat that I got in the gift shop thing? Russian. But just now we were both alarmed. <laughs> we were like thrown, the bag slid and like a whole bunch of stuff in other people's rooms just went boom, boom. All of this stuff just slid across the bed. It's quite funny. And we're on the seventh uh, floor. So it's like quite exaggerated. <laughs> yeah, don't go thump out the window. Yes, James Bond. As you guys can see, the light is starting to look kind of glorious. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're gonna go out there, see if that sunset does anything. Hopefully, it bloody will. I'm really hoping this sunset comes to fruition in the way that we're imagining it's gonna. There's a lot of wispy clouds in the sky. But if there's a bank of cloud on the horizon, it could just ruin it all. So, fingers crossed. Shooting on that Canon 1DX Mark II. Absolutely head over heels in love with this camera. Cannot explain to you guys how much it gives me pleasure in my underpants region to use this camera. I got the 35mm 1.4 on today. So we'll be taking some portraits of Tim, like that. Sunset. Dude, how cool is this? This is amazing. Should we go into the bridge? Maybe. It might have looked cooler than yesterday. So I want to make, I want to make vlogs, cool vlogs of this trip, document the whole thing. Uh, but I also want to make a good visual vibes because it's the Arctic, and I also want to make a visual vibes that's mostly shot on this, on the 1D X Mark II. I want to use my Canon lenses a lot more for video. It doesn't look like we're getting quite the sunset that we were hoping, although it is pretty spectacular. It's very beautiful. Well, that was quite successful. Awesome. Not too bad. Should we go and work off that chocolate cake? Yeah, let's do it. Do some chin ups. Look, guys, Antarctica. How awesome would it be to go to Antarctica and the Arctic? And these guys, quark. How's it going, man? Oh, the music's perfect, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do? Some chin ups? Yeah, should we do. And yeah, chest stuff, we should just, just focus on the bicep region. Not pretty. 10 chins, 10 press ups times 5, 10 squats with 10 kilos, and then 10 squat jumps times 5. We're both about to vomit. I think we need some fresh air. Yeah, that was good, but. That was good. It's bad too. Good start. Well, we did it. I'm saying I think, I, I think I'd probably feel sick from doing that just straight off the bat with pretty much no exercise. To also be on a moving boat, and the gym had no windows, so it was just a moving room. And we went outside, and I still kind of felt a little bit confined just by realizing that I'm just stuck on a boat right now. I think it's, like you say, be alright when we're not sick. Yeah, yeah, I think as soon as the sickness fades, 
we won't feel so trapped, but it is yeah. a strange feeling being on a little floating thing in the middle of the, the water, you can't get off, but usually it's a good thing, but when you're feeling sick, it's a little... Yeah, I think it's because it's self-induced as well. Hashtag health train. We've got a big filming day tomorrow, so we're stopping in another town. Hopefully there's going to be a little bit of internet so I can maybe post on Instagram um, and say, hey everybody, I'm still alive. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then for the big day of filming. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys, goodbye. We've got the dodgy one for sure. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. That's very loud. It's just a drill. Just looking for those shots Adrian dreams about. <laughs> 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 trying to keep a serious face because you know it looks good.